Jay, in that first half, Larry Ann Jr. had a couple of solid screens for you. Mm -hmm. When he's at the five, how do you describe what he brings between playing five? No, he brings energy. He's a smart basketball player. He's solid. He's an Ohio guy, so he's a genius. And, um, <laughs> and I think he just he just understands the game. I got to get used to you know someone that mobile that can kind of move and, and dribble handoffs, things of that nature. And you know. It, we can't practice because we play games every day. So you're just learning on the fly, you know, during the games. How do you describe what Rocco gave you guys tonight? Uh, he was great. I just told him, I was like, you got to shoot the fucking ball. And, uh, <laughs> he shot it tonight. Uh, he made the extra passes when we needed him to. He defended. He was aggressive. And um, he, he he was the hero tonight. He hit some big shots for us when we needed him. How about the same token? You, you were playmaking at that point, too. And as someone who is more known for your shot taking and playing games, I yeah, I just got to be better. You know, getting in the paint, I, I draw a lot of attention. You know, being able to find the weak side, I had a lot of turnovers, but it's just us trying to, you know, get used to each other, trying to get used to which spots guys are going to be in. And um, I just got to I gotta do a better job of taking care of the ball. But guys made shots. They made the game easy. You know, I just try to get in the lane and make a play for myself or for somebody else. And um, they, they do the hard part. The easy part is to pass. I mean, you did have quite a few assists in the fourth quarter, so I mean, it wasn't all bad. Yeah, they make shots. <laughs> I just I just pass the ball, they make the shots. It's, the hard part is making the shot. Well, like yeah, it's the hard part. <laughs> Any other questions? They went on 11 2 Brian in the fourth, and then you guys sort of clamped things down the last five minutes. Did Billup say anything to you guys about just play some damn defense or something? Or? No, I, he didn't need to. We, we felt like we were trading baskets. Uh, we gave up a lot of easy points throughout the flow of the game, and this is similar to the, the Cleveland game where we dug ourselves in a hole. You know, we we didn't close the half out the way we were supposed to. I shot a bad shot in transition, and they go on a 10-0 run. That's a that's a game we supposed to put away in the first half to where they start thinking about you know their next game, and we didn't, and they fought, and you know we gave up 23 points in the fourth quarter. But I think our antennas were up, and Nurk did a great job on their big guys closed out and contested and. Um, they're pros, so they're going to make tough shots. You just can't give them easy baskets. And your take on Odell versus Baker? Uh, man, I'm sorry to see Odell go, man. I, I was extremely happy when we got him. Uh, I wish him nothing but the best um, going forward. It's tough. I wish we could have utilized him more. I wish he could have you know, been a lifer. But as the business goes, um, so must he. And hopefully he lands on the right team. I know Dane wants to see him on the Raiders. <laughs> uh, but hopefully he lands on the right team where he can be his best version of himself. And hopefully, you know, my Browns can continue to move forward and um, get into these playoffs because I got money on them. So. <laughs> right, I'm going to take one last one from the uh, <laughs> Crypto East and Ricky Acosta. Go ahead, Ricky. Good night, CJ. Thank you for your time. It's Luis Enrique Acosta from Compendio Deportivo. How important is the type of victory for the chemistry of the team? Uh, we needed it. Uh, anytime you can get a win, especially at home, it's important, especially when you go on a road trip and, and get kicked into the sand and, and, and drop games that you feel like you should win. So, you know, we protect home court. We've historically played well at home, and uh, we wanted to make sure we got a win on Fiona's birthday. So we did. <laughs>